everybody, this is G. David Cooper, your Sequential Samurai. I'm coming to you live today from the Sequential Samurai studio. I'm going to give you a real quick tour of my place of refuge, my fortress of solitude. This is um, where I go to get my work done. This is where the magic happens. So I want to introduce you to the studio, let you get familiar with it. Uh, take a few minutes and let you see some of my artwork and um, just share some of my life with you as I continue forward in this grand adventure into the comic book industry. Just a little bit about myself. I'm 45 years old. I've been drawing my whole life. I went to college at Savannah College of Art and Design. Uh, I call Beaufort, South Carolina my home, although currently I reside in the Greenville area. Um, you know, life has actually been really good to me. I've had a lot of opportunities, done a lot of great things. I've actually gotten to use my artwork in a lot of places, doing a lot of different jobs. I've worked for some pretty significant companies as a graphic designer, including the Northwest Georgia uh, News Association. Um, so I can't say that I have gone without any really great opportunities when it comes to being able to utilize my art. I've actually done some comic books, not anything famous, not anything you would even recognize, most of just self-published stuff. I've been to several conventions. Uh, one of my favorites are Megacon down in Orlando. Um, I love going to uh, Heroes Con up in Charlotte, North Carolina. This year, I'm actually going to get to go to San Diego Comic Con. I've actually had the opportunity to come as a guest professional artist, all expenses paid. Um, not only that, but one of the clients that I've done some work for in the past is actually paying for my airline ticket for me to get there. So I don't even have to pay for that. So that was truly a blessing in itself. Um, but you know, I have, um, I've aspired to be an artist my entire life, not just an artist, a comic book artist. I want to draw comic books for a living. It's what I've always wanted to do. I've just never seemed to be able to balance the, uh, the dream with the reality of life. And I just decided that I'm tired of trying to get by and pretend to be. I really want to be a professional comic book artist. I want to have my own production studio. I want to produce independent comics. Um, not only mine, I want to produce and publish independent comics for other people as well. But I do want to see my stories come to life. I want to see... I. I've got so many things going on inside of this head of mine. It's like having multiple personality disorder. The creative inside of me is constantly coming up with new thoughts, new ideas. And it sometimes feels like I'm coming to a boiling point, like I'm just going to explode and everything's just going to come all out at once. So it's important to me uh, that I have the opportunity to tell my stories, that people get to see my artwork, that um, people get to read and, and look at the books that I produce. Uh, my greatest dream is to um, not only have my own production company, but man, just to have, you know, a following, a, a huge fan base where people recognize me and say, hey, that's the guy who does Dead of Night or that's the guy who's uh, currently drawing Deadly Crimson and, and whatever the case may be. I want to be that guy. I want to be known. I've got friends in the industry. Um, you know, I've, I've met several people that have done this their entire life. And I don't know what it is that they've had that I haven't had other than just perhaps the, um, the courage to, to move forward. I just haven't been able to bring myself to that place that I could let go of, you know, the, the nine to five, the seven days or the five day a week job and just let myself um, dive into being a true comic book artist. I mean, I've been a graphic designer. I've been a graphic artist. I, I've painted wall murals. I've been self-employed before. That's not the, the, the self-employment part isn't really a fear. I know that I can, um, get enough jobs for my artwork to, to make ends meet. That's, that's not the, the, the fear that I have. I think the, the greatest fear is probably people not liking my comics. And, and ah, you know, this is true confession time, right? Yeah, I think my comics are great. And of course, you know, the people who know me and love me, they say, hey, your comics are great. And, and I believe them because I've read great comics. I have read great stories, great novels. I've, I've written some uh, novels myself, which, you know, like most things have never seen the light of day. But I think the idea of the thing that I love being rejected is almost terrifying. And so I'm having to move beyond that. I'm having to force myself to put myself out there and just say, hey, look, 
this is me. This is who I am. And like it or not, I'm going to put it out there. You can read it if you want to. You don't have to. But, you know, I'm just, I'm done pretending. I'm done hoping. I'm done wishing. I'm done dreaming. I'm moving forward. And live or die, man, you know, this is going to happen. So this is G. David Cooper, your sequential samurai. Thank you for tolerating my video once again. I, I'm not really a YouTuber. I don't really know what I'm doing. My kids are trying to teach me, but, you know, I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, thank you for tolerating my really amateur YouTube videos as I chronicle my journey into the life of a true comic book artist. Thanks.